The Kennedale Independent School District is fighting a holding action against a group known as Citizens Alliance. The Alliance has filed a suit in the Civil District Court in Fort Worth asking that a recent bond election be declared null and void. The Alliance contends that the school board asked for one and a third million dollars and then raised property valuations to cover the sum. Alliance spokesman Norwood Hyatt described how the situation came about. Well, I would say that about a year ago here, they had a meeting in the elementary school here, and uh, uh, they told the people of the plight the Kennedale School was in, that it was uh, financially uh, near disaster, and consequently the accreditation was uh, in jeopardy as a result of that, and the people expressed a desire to keep their school here, but they were told that they would have to have a tax increase, and they more or less by voice vote gave the board the right to raise the taxes. And when the next tax statement came to us, our taxes uh, on practically all property in the district was doubled completely. And as high and as absurd as this seemed to be, most people had agreed to try to live with that situation. Hyatt says that taxes on his farm have gone from $500 to $1,800 annually in a little over a year. The Kennedale City Council is also a bit edgy about the allegedly excessive reevaluation. The council has refused to accept the new valuation for city taxing purposes. The allowance says that what the school board did was to make up a game and then invent rules to fit it. Norwood Hyatt claims that the only way to handle the situation is to consolidate with Mansfield to the south. Petitions for that purpose are being circulated now. I tried to contact the school superintendent and members of the school board for comment today. I was told that none of the eight men are available. Jay Lewis, Channel 8 News on the Move in Kennedale.
taking the same, Mr. Oliver. I, the, the Queen's invitation was not for dinner, so I only go with this food. That's not quite true. Wow. Now, that's never easy to answer, but it was easier to answer in 1920, shall we say. Uh, what is literature? What was literature then? Well, etymology tells us that literature comes from the word litera, meaning letter. So it's that, a piece of work which is composed of written words, the alphabet, our phonetic alphabet with which we're saddled. Uh, literature is words transmitted via writing and reading. No one would dispute this. It's pretty simple. It's good. Uh, literature as art would be, say in the words of my Yale colleague, W.K. Wimsatt, a verbal icon, uh, an image of, of words. Okay. people your own age, what do they think? Um, I don't know. I haven't been so much to know about what they think. I have a friend that's also a member, and he thinks it's pretty good. How about school? How do you get along in school, being um, being the president, <laughs> being the editor of the newsletter and all that? Pretty well. It doesn't yeah. leave much time for schoolwork, does it? Oh, I, I make time for it. Because it is essential. What does your mother think? How does it affect your home life? Uh, it keeps me pretty busy, and she helps me uh, with the newsletter occasionally, giving me ideas on some articles that I could cover, some ideas to cover, but mostly I do it on my own. It's all you? Yes. Bobby, a five-year contract is a fairly long one. Uh, any particular reason behind uh, the length of the contract? Yes, and I think that, uh, well, we, we want five years, of course, to, uh, first of all, the hassle of mm -hmm. contract with Dennis is one thing, and I've been here for six years, and uh, I hope that I could retire. This is the way I feel about it, and I felt that uh, with the five-year contract, and uh, being a receiver in the competition and professional sports, now I felt that if I could last the five years that uh, I would be retiring, I would, wouldn't be, uh, I would like to retire in Dallas where I started. You know, there was uh, some concern or uh, publication about the fact that you wanted to have authorization in case they decided to trade you. Did you get that into the contract? Yes, I did. That's an unusual clause, isn't it? Sometime, I guess, for some people. But uh, I felt that um, we had to, something had to happen, and uh, we, we got what we wanted. When when they agreed to put that clause in the contract, was that uh, more or less the, the log jam? Uh, did that break it? Not really. Uh, that wasn't it. it was, we had some more deals to work out in the contract, and we just all got them all together this morning. A citizens group in North Fort Worth is protesting a 250 apartment complex that's to be built here that will surround a recreational park built by the city a few years back. It will also be in the midst of three schools in the area, elementary, middle school, and high school. One of the main objections that the citizens group has against the HUD project sponsored by the GI Forum will be the fact that schools here are already overcrowded. I spoke to Mrs. Reed, a spokeswoman for the protesting group today. Main reason is M.H. Moore Elementary School would be the elementary school the uh, main interest would concern it with the smaller children. Uh, we have an overcapacity now, and they are, we do have wooden buildings for our children to have to study in those, and the lunchroom problem would exist. We would have to start our lunches earlier than what is, they're doing now at 11 o'clock in the morning. The spokesman for the GI Forum, Cesar De Leon, told me today that the school board has stated that an additional 400 to 700 students could be handled in the middle school and high schools. 
but that the elementary school space is limited. The school board in action last evening has requested a delay of the apartment project until a further study can be made. Superintendent Julius Trulson said he feels HUD's figures on the projected number of new students are low. He even suggested that a bond election may have to be called to build a new elementary school here in this area. The ultimate decision will come out of Washington, but the Diamond Hill residents in the meantime plan a protest rally Sunday here at the Recreation and Park area, and then to carry the fight on the City Hall Monday. Mrs. Reed said, though, she doesn't think that they will win. Jim Green, Channel 8 News on the Move, Fort Worth. We've had some dealers go broke, some crooks that came in, got into the business, they've gone broke, they don't last long, but they break down the image of the good dealer. It's like anything else. Any, any individual will have the opportunity to, if he has a complaint, to register it with this the Texas Motor Vehicle Commission, and then we in turn will check with the dealer that he has a complaint with, and then with the factory that he represents. And of course, uh, there'll be a lot of those complaints that we will have to run down and have to handle, and we'll be the go-between between the consumer. There's two men that are appointed that are consumers on this commission, and four new car dealers. Do you have power to put? Do you have power to put one of these dealers out of business if he doesn't meet the, the requirements? It's my understanding of the law that we have a right to take his license if he does not live up to the ground rules in the laws that have just been passed. Yes, very clearly. I was about five years old when I started kicking the soccer ball. I can remember it just as if it was yesterday. Do they uh, seem to be as good as uh, youngsters like you were when you were five? Yes, they're on the same part, of, the same age as me when I was that age. This then would seem to indicate that if the soccer continues in the boom, why well, we'll have a great sport here in a few years, won't we? We sure will, yeah. American kids pick up very fast. They pick up quicker than the British kids, to be truthful with you. I don't, they seem to be willing to learn a bit more, probably because they don't have the skills that the British kids, they're willing to work harder at the game. Well, what do you think about Atlanta coming up Saturday yeah, night? What must we do? This is a tough one. We've got to go out there and we've got to give 110% effort to beat this team. They're a very tough team to beat. What are you going to be doing in your uh, halfback position Saturday night? Well, uh, <laughs> I've got to concentrate on getting their midfield man out of the game and getting myself into an attacking position most of the time so we can concentrate on the attack. Are you going to be looking to uh, Washington, too, do you feel, uh, them being but six points behind you? And, of course, we trail Atlanta by uh, yeah. how many points is it? Oh, it's about 32. Uh, we're very conscious of Washington being close behind us, so we've got to beat them as well. We've got to win every game. We can't afford to lose any. How do you think the Tornado has done this year as a club? I think the Tornado has done very well this year as a club. They're a far better team than they were last year. Well, the uh, assurance of the future of the institution. How much did you retain, sir? <clears throat> well, I will retain uh, approximately 8% uh, of the total outstanding. That is the family and myself, not mm -hmm. altogether me. How confident are you of the bank's future now that you're giving up control? Well, the confidence is uh, one of my participation in the bank over a long period of time. The uh, strength, uh, the capability, the experience of the organization, of course, it gives uh, anyone confidence in their business relationship. No, no, I'm not retired, I am tired. There's a difference. And I just have to take a, a year off and, and rest. I mean, it's been a wonderful experience, but it's been a trauma too, and I have to rest. Recharge my batteries. In order to do that, I, I can't teach classes or anything like that. I just have to go into a library. How very apropos that I should say this is a librarian's convention, but I have to go into a library and just retreat among the books. Has the jealousy among your colleagues no. been part of No, not at all. Have you changed in the past year and a half after your love story's been such a success? I ask you. I ask you. I hope not. I hope not. You don't think that... I hope not. Thank you.
you get in an airplane here? Yeah. You get to fly any? No. We, you know, we didn't have enough time. So, Dr. Green had a chance to go, you know, mess around with him. What phase of the Air Force are you going to go into? In the reserves. What else would you be doing this summer if you weren't here? Well, I've been working up at Police Community Relations in Fort Worth, and I'd probably be working there if I wasn't here this week. This is the second of ten one-week courses here at Carswell Air Force Base. It's designed to motivate, not necessarily toward the Air Force, but to motivate these young people into what they'd like to do most. Maybe it's mechanics, maybe it's engineering, maybe it is the Air Force. But this week gives them a better insight into what maybe they would like to do. Jerry Park, Channel 8 News on the Move, Carswell Air Force Base, Fort Worth. I think it would uh, would help uh, us to provide the ongoing services, which we cannot uh, do to the uh, right now to the full extent of the demand. This will meet that demand, and uh, eventually will permit us to depend on that kind of an activity, and not depend on uh, just our own tax base. How much does it cost this group to obtain the majority of your shares in Texas Bank? Well, I think that's a private transaction. It was substantial, all right, because it represented a substantial amount. amount. It was a uh, pattern close to the market. I didn't uh, make any, uh, any gains substantially myself on it because it uh, had a future value to me in the proper hands. 